And joining us now, grocery store guru, Phil Lempert. I see you're in the aisles right now. So what should, what should folks know about, you know, how maybe they should change some of their habits in the coming year? Well, Carrie, we got last year knowing how to use coupons. Now it's about social networking. Go to your supermarket, see if they're tweeting, because a lot of supermarkets are actually sending out tweets when products go on sale. Also, read the labels carefully. I'm actually working with ConAgra Foods on a program to teach people how to eat healthy and how to save money, because the past year we've seen a lot of innovation. For example, on Healthy Choice with their new All Naturals product, it's all real food, the prices have come down, and we're seeing more smarter products than ever before. We're also seeing a reduction in sodium. Sodium is going to be the big health trend in 2010. Orville Redenbacher, for example, has reduced the sodium level by 30%. Wow. So we've got to read those labels. We've got to be smarter. And also, when it comes to meat, look for country of origin labeling. Understand the country that your meat is coming from, because in a lot of cases, you're going to have a big surprise. Well, some folks are going to want to know what's the what. Why does it matter? And are there any countries you want to maybe steer clear of without sparking a national incident here, Phil? What exactly do you want people to look to look for when you talk about country of origin? What's what matters here? What matters to me, and I suggest to everybody, is product of U.S. To save money, you have certain ranchers that are growing or that are birthing the cattle here, sending them to Mexico to be raised and then to Canada to be slaughtered. It's actually less expensive than doing the whole process here. Mm -hmm. What we really see as a trend for 2010 is the return of the butcher, where I might go into a jewel, for example, product of USA, pick out a steak, bring it to the butcher in the back and then have them grind the meat for me while I'm waiting so I know exactly what I'm getting. We're more concerned about where our foods come from and yeah. food safety than ever before. Okay, one more question to ask you. You know, you've already held up a couple of brands that you say are responding for uh, people wanting healthier food cheaper. Is that gonna continue? Yes, no question about it. They've gotten more sustainable. They've taken a lot of waste out of the system, and they know that you and I want to eat healthy, but it's got to taste great, and it's got to be affordable. So, yes, the trend has changed dramatically. All right, sounds like it's almost all good news from Chicago today. Thanks so much, Phil Lempert, the grocery store guru. Thank you.